Hello and welcome to Building on a Budget, the scale modelling channel where we try to build some models without breaking the bank at the same time. Today we're going to be looking at the um, Peugeot 206 uh, World Rally Championship car from 2003 by Heller. Now, um, for those of you who don't know, Hella are a French scale modelling brand. Um, they uh, were previously associated with Airfix, and um, a lot of their models, I think this one as well, um, were also released by Airfix. Um, you can see there on the back there's a few different adverts for different models that were out around the time. Um, it also says that uh, the model will assemble to the length of 167 millimeters, and um, there's um, uh, aid warnings, things like that. Also says uh, the pictures are not contractual, which I believe is their way of saying, um, you know, don't expect it to look quite the same as it does on the box, uh, which I'm not surprising surprised about. This is obviously a photo. There are drivers on the inside there. Uh, this kit doesn't come with drivers. Um, it's uh, 1 to 24 scale um, uh, and uh, 60 pieces. And also, um, as you can see here, this set came with um, paints, glue and a brush. Um, more of that uh, I'll show you later. So a little bit of history. The um, 206 was a very successful rally car in the uh, late 90s and early 2000s. Um, Marcus Gronholm, who is the driver of this car, um, won the World Rally Championship in it twice. And uh, this was the final year that it was used before they switched over to the 307. This was also the final World Rally car driven by 2001 champion Richard Burns who would retire at the end of the season following his diagnosis of a brain tumour. He sadly died two years later in 2005. One of his World Rally cars is still at the Coventry Transport Museum in the United Kingdom. Now, um, getting onto the kit, um, we'll start by looking at the instructions. <clears throat> the instructions are um, in black and white, um, fairly basic. Um, at the beginning you've got uh, information about the car itself and in um, eight different uh, languages. So it's quite comprehensive. Um, and then you move on to the instructions themselves, safety guidelines, things like that. Now the paints that are suggested down here I'm pretty certain are Humbrol paints because they use the same codes and I know that uh, Airfix, Hella and uh, Humbrol have been associated uh, with each other. Um, the kit came with, uh, as you see, six paints, which came in these um, interesting sort of vials. Um, I actually didn't use those because I had the colours already, either from um, Humbrol, uh, Revel or Tamiya. Um, the kit also came with um, a, a tube of glue, which is fairly decent, although I prefer the Tamiya extra thin, and um, a paintbrush, which um, is actually pretty good. I quite like this paintbrush, and I've used it a few more times as well. Um, it's actually got the um, the more up-to-date Hella logo on it, but I don't think that my camera is picking it up. Never mind. Anyway, yeah, so it, it's it's nice to have everything in there, and this is quite a good kit for um, a beginner. Uh, I should have mentioned earlier, I picked this up for £10, uh, brand new, on the internet. So, yeah, you know, a 124 race car kit, brand new, with paints, glue, and brush. That's pretty good. I mean, you aren't going to get the same detail and... Um, as, as you would in, say, a Tamiya rally kit. Um, and I'm really in, I'd am really i be really interested to um, get one of the Tamiya uh, 206s to compare. But um, anyway, so we'll go over the instructions in a moment. Um, the book has a section for notes, not that I used it. Um, as you can see here, these are the sprues as well as the, um, the set out for the decals or decals. Um, 
several sprues um, and also with some areas crossed out things that you weren't using um, was it f um, four white sprues so that was the the undercarriage the sort of roll cage dashboard uh, wheel arches um, interior um, sort of hubs seats things like that clear sprue here with the glass the windscreen wipers were molded onto it which isn't really something i like but you know like i say it's it's a cheap kit the um the molding of the body was pretty good there were some mold lines i needed to sand out and um and i've also made some changes to it and a, a chrome uh set which was mainly sort of uh inserts for lights um the badge for the front which looks pretty good um five rubber tires because there is an interior spare so while the colors here um, were suggested and for instance um, it wanted you to use uh, 19 which is a kind of a gloss bright red or rouge brilliant um, en français um, for the bodywork um, I I don't use an airbrush um, so but I do use uh, spray cans so I can show you that I used these uh, gloss spray enamel from uh, Wilkinson um, British um, kind of everyday kind of store um, which were really gave a really really nice finish I'll show you that in a moment just remember that if you are to use things like this they are enamel paints make sure you use them in a ventilated area protect yourself with a mask things like that um, yeah um, going over the instructions, if you've built any of the sort of relatively recent um, Airfix sports cars, things like the um, uh, some of the rally kits they've made, like the Fiesta or like the Aston Martin Le Mans kit, things like that, um, you'll see that this is very, very similar. There's not really much in the way of um, realistic workings on, on the underside. Um, as you can see here, it's very simple. Um, but um, if you do a good job of the, you know, the exterior, then it, it works pretty. It's as nice as a as a, you know, a curbside kit looks good on on your shelf. Uh, if you if you do a good job of it, um, as we said before, it's got uh, rubber tires here. It wants uh, a spare tire for the interior. Very basic interior. Um, obviously, if you were so inclined, you could. Uh, you know add some details like wires and cables um i did add a rear view mirror and um and a bit of the roll cage that they'd missed out in mine um you know very simple again here inbuilt suspension in the wheel arches you know if you want this to be you know a lesson of the inner workings of um you know the peugeot 206 i don't think you're going to get that from this but it looks quite nice um, one of the things I didn't really like, though, was this um, radiator grill here, which fits, you know, really tightly behind um, the uh, open kind of smile of the car, as you can see here. In reality, the radiator is set back. There was a mesh there with a very faint 206 kind of um, painted onto the uh, grill. Um, and I, I made some adaptions to that, as I'll show you later. Uh, yeah, so... Pretty simple, you know, step by step painting instructions, few interior decals, uh, including seat belts. Um, I decided to use the decal seat belts for this rather than uh, use any of my photo etch. Um, always good to have a, a small drill because there are some spaces in the top for different aerials. Um, this kit was originally issued in 2000, so it's possible that. Some of the features like aerials may have changed in that time. Um, kind of the window masking here, um, I actually used the um, Zero Designs uh, window masks, which are designed for the Tamiya kits, um, but uh, as the scale is the same, um, they fit pretty well. I've put them back on here and because they, they get, kept their stick and I thought, yeah, you never know. Might be able to use them again one day but um just remember that you know these are available um i bought them from uh, hero boy uh well worth buying um yeah 
So, um, and uh, yeah, the final steps there. Now, onto the decals. I hear a lot of people complaining about um, Tamiya decals and saying that they're not up to the quality of Cartograph, and I think that's probably true. Um, these ones are not very good at all. Um, you can see here some of the decals that I didn't use, like the kind of rubber strip that goes around the doors or uh, the tail lights. I don't like uh, using uh, decals for tail lights. It just doesn't seem right. Um, uh, also some vents, which uh, I'll show you what I did instead in a moment. Um, the white stripes that go around the kind of skirts of the car around there uh, were included as decals and if you know the car I mean you can see it there it's there are recesses and curves and they did not want to apply you know I used decal softener I used hairbrushes uh, hair, hair dryers I should say um, they were not going to go on um, so I, uh, I masked it and painted it instead. If you were to make this kit, I would seriously recommend you masking it and painting it as well. Um, but do that before you've applied any of the other decals because I had already applied some of the others and it meant that I had to do a very delicate job so that I didn't um, accidentally tear any of the other decals, as I'll show you in a moment. Um, yeah. Pretty accurate though, um, unlike you know the Tamiya kits that give you a choice of drivers, this one you only were able to do uh, Marcus Grunholm, who was number one, obviously, as the reigning champion. Uh, this car was from the uh, Rally Deutschland uh, in, in Germany um, from 2003. Uh, I think one of the reasons they chose that was because the tobacco markings, which would have been uh, on the bonnet there and on the side doors there, um, have been removed. Interestingly though they did actually use large white squares in those events so I don't know why they didn't include that but uh, there we are. Anyway let's get on to the car itself. So here's the finished car. So I'm quite pleased with the finish. It's got quite a sort of glossy finish with the um, with the paint. The the white around the base isn't as neat as it could be, but as I said, I I should have done it, um, and I would recommend to anyone else, I should have done it um, at first rather than after having applied some of the decals. Um, nice interior, considering it's so simple, you can add things to it, uh, extra features like, um, you know, uh, wires and things should you want to. Um, pretty accurate decals, you know, number plates, things like that. So what I did with the front here, as you can see, is um, I actually cut out part of the radiator and moved it back about a centimetre. Um, and you can kind of see that silver bit in there. And the 206 grill here is actually some spare mesh that I had left over from um, the uh, Tamiya um, uh, Celica. Uh, 1993 kit and uh, and I just thought oh, well, I'll repurpose it and um, I traced over a 206 uh, with some um, satin white paint to get that I'm quite happy with that um, yeah so I think it's turned out pretty well in the end I used um, red sharpie for the tail lights and um, the extra brake light down here rather than using uh, the light the, the the decals that came with it I think that's a bit of a, of a bit of a sloppy thing to to use those also uh, there were decals for these vents here I actually used my craft knife to cut those vents out and added a bit of mesh underneath um, just a few little things that you can do just to make it look that little bit more um, you know real a little bit more interesting. Um, I included some white squares in places where the blank uh, tobacco markings would have been. Um, I was thinking about doing it on the sides but I just couldn't get blank 
decal paper that was um, that w that looked good enough. So I thought, you know, it looks quite nice like this. As I showed you before on the instructions, the underside is very simple, very simple. We added a bit of paint to a few different areas there, um, but yeah, um, that's the car. Finally, I guess it comes down to, uh, you know, would I recommend this? Um, I would, I would, um, because I'm firmly of the believer that um, a model is what you make of it. And if you put the effort in, um, you will get a good result, something you're pleased with. Um, this does sit on uh, on my rally shelf with three other uh, Tamiya models and it doesn't look too out of place. I think it would if you turned it over or maybe have to, uh, a close look on the interior. But, you know, um, it's a nice little kit. It's okay for a beginner, I would say, but um, those white decals around the um, around the, the kind of skirts of the car are very, very, very difficult. And, you, well, they're basically useless. So I would recommend against those. Um, and I've also seen um, some examples of this uh, done as, you know, a kind of racing modified street version instead, which is quite a nice uh, way of doing it, should you wish. Um, but yeah, it's 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 a it's a good value kit. Um, I've got a couple of other Hella kits, uh, including their um, Alpine A110 uh, rally car to build. So I will see what those are like. But yeah, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. Please um, comment, uh, like, share and subscribe should you wish. And um, I'll see you soon. Bye.